The Big Brag by Dr. Zeus. The rabbit felt mighty important that day, on top of the hill in the sun where he lay. He felt so important up there on that hill that he started in bragging as animals will. And he boasted out loud as he threw out his chest. Of all the beasts in the world, I'm the best. On land, on sea, even up in the sky, no animal lives who is better than I. What's that? growled a voice that was terribly gruff. Now why do you say such ridiculous stuff? The rabbit looked down and he saw a big bear. I'm the best of the beasts, said the bear. And so there. You're not, snapped the rabbit. I'm better than you. Poo, the bear snorted. Again I say poo. You talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit. That's true. But how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm. Thought the rabbit. Now, what can I do? He thought and he thought. Then he finally said, Mr. Bear, do you see these two ears on my head? My ears are so keen and so sharp and so fine. No ears in the world can eat further than mine. Humph, the bear grunted. He looked at each ear. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer. But how do I know just how far they can hear? I'll prove, said the rabbit. My ears are the best. You sit there and watch me. I'll prove by a test. Then he stiffened his ears till they both stood up high and pointed straight up at the blue of the sky. He stretched his ear open as wide as he could. Shh, I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he started to sweat and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet. For seven long minutes, he stood, then he stood, and he said to the bear, Do you know what I heard? Do you see that far mountain? It's 90 miles off. There's a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. Now the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear, and he's mighty miles off, but I can hear it quite clear. So you see, bragged the rabbit, it's perfectly true that my ears are the best, so I'm better than you. The bear for a moment just sucked and he sat, for he knew that his ears couldn't hear things like that. This rabbit, he thought, made me a fool out of me. Now I've got to prove that I'm better than he. So he said to the rabbit, you hear pretty well. You can hear 90 miles, but how far can you smell? I'm the greatest smellers, he bragged. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. My nose can smell anything, both far and near. With my nose I can smell twice as far as you hear. snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear, and he stuck up his big nose way up high in the air. He wiggled that nose and he sniffed and he snuffed. He waggled that nose and he whiffed and he woofed. For more than ten minutes, he snuffed and he snuffed. Then he said to the rabbit, I've smelled far enough. All right, said the rabbit. Come on now and tell exactly how far is the smell that you smell. Oh, I'm smelling a very far smell, said the bear. Away past that fly on the mountain up there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond, 600 miles more to the edge of a pond. And way, way up there, by a pond you can't see, 
is a very small farm. On the farm is a tree. On the very tree is a branch. On the branch is a nest. A very small nest where two tiny eggs rest. Two hummingbirds' eggs, only half an inch long. But my nose, said the bear, is so wonderfully strong. My nose is so good that I smelled without fail that an egg on the left is a little bit stale. And that is a thing that no rabbit can do. So you see, the bear boasted, I'm better than you. My smeller so keen that it just can't be beat. What's that? Called a voice from way down by his feet. The bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound, and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. Now, boys," said the worm, "you've been bragging a lot. You both think you're great, but I think you're not. You're not half as good as a fellow like me." You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? No, I'm here to prove to you, big boasting guys, that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. And the little old worm cocked his head up to one side, and he opened his eyes and he opened them wide, and they looked. Far away, with a strange sort of stare, as if they were burning two holes in the air. The eyes of the worm almost popped from his head. He stared half an hour till his eyelids got red. That's enough," growled the bear. "Tell the rabbit and me, how far did you look, and just what did you see?" The worm answered, "That look I just took was a look that you looked farther than you'll ever look. I looked across the ocean, way out to Japan, for I can see further than anyone can. There's no one on earth who has eyesight that's finer. I looked past Japan, then I looked across China." I looked across Egypt and I took a quick glance across the two countries of Holland and France. Then I looked across England and also Brazil, but I didn't stop there. I looked much further still, and I kept right on looking and looking until. I looked round the world and right back to this hill, and I saw on this hill, since my eyes sat so keen, the two biggest fools that I've ever been seen. And the fools that I saw were none other than you, who seem to have nothing else better to do than to sit here and argue. Who's better than who? Then the little old worm gave his head a small jerk, and he dived into his hole and went back to his work.